One world, one brain. I wanna help out the world. I wanna make a new friend. We must all come together, together, and braid each other's hair. You take the left side and put it in the middle. Okay. You take the right side and put it in the middle. Hooray! What's all the noise? Are you okay? No. What's wrong? I can't pray to me. But didn't you watch Jane's video? <laughs> okay, so I'll get you going with the video again. You gotta sit down and watch the video. Okay? I'm gonna watch Jane's video and learn how to do it the right way. One world, one brain. We're the show ring. You want something? that's going to be tight, something that's going to be staying up all day long, especially if you have two classes or more, and you want it to be beautiful. So what you're going to do is you're going to braid a French braid. You're going to take as thick a pieces as you can. Every time you come up, you take the hair up and you hold it up along the crest. When you come down, you add a piece of hair. Again, when you go up, you pull it up so that it's pulling the braid up on the crest. When you come down, you add a piece. And try to add about the same all the way down so that you don't have fat braid, skinny braid. So that the whole thing is even. Again, you can braid up. so that it stays tight on the mane. If you go down, the braid comes down. There are people who do this from the back of the horse so that it stays along the crest. You mean sitting on their back? Sitting on their backs. Huh. There are also horses whose manes are so much thicker than this that they do two braids. One down one side and one down the other. And you have to be able to hold the whole thing together. It gets so big that my hand can almost go, not go around it. And the ideal situation is to practice this at home so that you can know how much hair you need to take for each piece, how long it's going to take you to do, so that you're not in a rush when you get to the horse show. And if you're showing a horse in the lower levels, make sure that you don't make it so tight that they cannot put their head down for the stretchy circle, which is very important. It's times two because that's times two, right? And it's also a good idea, if you've never done this with your horse before, to do it at home and ride him in the braid because it does make them feel a little bit different that there's something, some tension there that wasn't there before, especially if they don't live in braids. They're used to a free mane. This horse lives in braids. And he's had this done so many times. He knows. And just say one more time how you're taking the pieces okay. of hair. He's is added to the down braid. You come up with the bottom piece, hold it up, come down, add the hair. You go to the point where there's not so much hair, and then you simply braid down. If your horse's mane ends about where my hands are, or a little bit lower, you can fold the braid up underneath and put a piece of yarn and hold it. This horse's mane is so long that I find it best to just simply braid all the way down as far as I can do go, put a small black rubber band, and leave it there. This way the reins don't get caught in it, 
it doesn't fly up and down it stays there just the sheer weight of the main holds it as you can see it goes well down and it generally lays right in front of my saddle pad so there's not a problem I'm going to not take it all the way down just for time's sake. I'll put a rubber band and I'll show you how I keep it up during the day, which is basically the secret that not many people use. I learned this from trial and error that even if you put in a tight braid, by the time you do one class, put the horse in the stall, tack up, for your second class, the braid is all flopping over and falling out. Now, the way to do that is very simple. I'm giving away the trade secret that gets me so many Frisian braiding jobs. Take one long piece of yarn, put your finger through the braid, the entire braid, pull the string through, tie it tight, two knots, And cut the tails and slide the knot underneath. It's absolutely invisible and you do that all the way down the main every three or so braids depending upon how so finger through, grab, tie. You always tie tight. I put two knots Cut it, slide the knot underneath. And you do that about here, and about here, and then one here. And that holds your braid in, nice and tight. When you take the braid out, those loops do not have to be cut because they slide right out. And I'll show you how that works. And we'll go back to where we started from. Braid comes out. And you have to be careful what you use to wash the mane. I generally use baby shampoo and Pantene because you don't want it too slippery. It will fall out. Okay, we're getting up to close to where our yarn is. You can see it in the mane. Just pulls right down and out. And the next piece is here. Again, down and out. And the mane comes out. And the horse poops. Okay. <laughs> you take the right side and put it in and the braid, middle. braid, braid, braid. I wanna braid your hair, your hair. I wanna braid your hair. My hair. I wanna braid your hair, your hair.